So I've got an idea for decoratively joining this strip of copper to this piece of 3 8 inch square steel. I need to thank John Allman for his latest donation. Those who directly donate don't just help me, but everyone who enjoys watching my channel. And so for that, thank you. I'm using my Pritchell hole like this to show how you might use your own anvil in different ways. I don't have my anvil permanently tied down, so I can do stuff just like this. But I should move off the center, which is directly above my hardy hole. I cut the copper strip long, thinking to maybe pressure fit it in place before the next operation, which would be twisting. I'm still thinking about how this might work. I decide to preheat the steel. At this point I'm monkeying around, I just want to get it temporarily secured to transition it from my forge to locked in my vise. Somehow, some way, when I put it back in the forge for a few seconds, the copper stuck to the steel. So this looks like it should work just well enough. I was careful to not heat to the melting point of the copper and so why preheating the steel is important.
I like how the copper instantly glows. After a quick quench, the difference between the copper and steel is obvious. To those who make decorative items, I can think of so many different ways to use this. I decide to clean it up a little bit and even things out. To me, just like that, it looks great. But I decide to quench again. Not real happy with that. I'll have one more go. Wow, very interesting. Back to copper. Catch you guys next time.